Hi, and welcome again to another episode in our series of short videos visiting Israel's 50 must-visit Bible places. As usual, we'd like to thank the Bible Archaeology Digest for providing the pictures and information. Today, we'll be taking a quick look at Rolling Stone Tombs. The Bible tells us Jesus was placed in a tomb which could be sealed by a stone being rolled in front of it. There are a number of examples of this type of tomb in Israel. We shall look at just a few of them today. This example is found by the side of the road that goes along the southern edge of Tel Shush, just off the Jezreel Valley. Here, we are looking at the garden tomb in Jerusalem. Yvonne is standing at the entrance to the rolling stone tomb found there. She is standing on the channel carved into the rock, which some suggest was possibly to guide the stone as it was rolled into place. Unfortunately, no stone was found connected with the tomb. This tomb was excavated in 1867. It is thought that the damage to the entrance may have been caused by an earthquake. It was later repaired. Our picture here shows part of the interior of this garden tomb and one of the two stone benches found inside. Gabriel Barke, Professor of Biblical Archaeology at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, concluded that the design of the interior of the tomb is typical of the 8th 7th century BCE. Our picture here is of a large, well-preserved wine press. Some have suggested that the presence of such an ancient vineyard here could possibly indicate the sort of garden a rich man such as Joseph of Arimathea would have owned. However, this is a very tenuous connection. The garden tomb may not be the actual site of Jesus' death and burial. However, it is certainly more helpful to visit than the Holy Sepulchre. 